dear students continuing our lecture series on named reaction this is our 34th lecture where we will discuss what is julia definition and what are the mechanisms and applications for different types of julia definition reactions and their modifications julia definition is basically a chemical reaction where phenyl sulfone derivatives they react with aldehydes or ketones in the presence of strong bases uh, like alkyl lithiums in presence of uh, alkyl halides to give us uh, alkoxy sulfone derivatives which on reduction with uh, sodium amalgam in presence of ethanol they are converted into alkenes uh, depending upon the reaction conditions uh, both e and z alkenes can be formed but we can select the condition in such a way that we can exclusively get either e alkenes or z alkenes as far as mechanism of this reaction is concerned uh, when phenyl sulfones having active hydrogens attached at the alpha carbon they are reacted with a strong base like uh, n butyl lithium then because uh, these protons they are very acidic in nature they can be easily removed by the strong base to give us this type of phenyl sulfone carbenyl which attacks the electrophilic carbon of the carbonyl system either aldehydes or ketones to give us these types of alkoxy sulfone derivatives and these alkoxy uh, sulfone derivatives they react with alkyl halides to give us these intermediates which on reduction followed by uh, abstraction of proton by ethanol are converted into these types of alkene derivatives uh, then uh, in recent years many uh, modified uh, julia polyphenation reactions they have been reported where uh, as you have seen in the previous case that it is a two step reaction but this julia olefination can be achieved in one pot reaction that is called as modified julia olefination reaction and this modification is where phenyl group is generally replaced by heteroaryl derivatives so basically heteroaryl sulfones they react with aldehydes or ketones in the presence of a strong base to give us uh, a mixture of uh, e and z alkenes but uh, we can uh, specifically alter the reaction condition in such a way that uh, uh, we can get an exclusive either e uh, olefins or z olefins and here also uh, mechanism of the reaction is that uh, say uh, in presence of lithium diisopropyl amide if reaction is taking place uh, the benzothiazole uh, sulfone uh, reacts with lithium diisopropyl amide in the first step and as i have told you uh, in the previous slide that these acidic protons they will give us these types of carbonyl and this carbonyl on reaction with carbonyl system will lead to the formation of alkoxide intermediate of this type and this alkoxide uh, intermediate will undergo smiles rearrangement uh, where this negatively charged oxygen will attack this electrophilic carbon and the 
pi bond will be shifted to the nitrogen and nitrogen will have negative charge to which the lithium positive will get attached to this sodium to neutralize the negative charge of the sodium and then this intermediate will undergo smiles rearrangement to give us this type of sulfinate salt that this sulfinate salt uh, because uh, the reaction conditions are basic in nature will undergo elimination of sulfur dioxide gas followed by elimination of benzothiazole uh, system to give us e or z alkenes as the product then one more modification of uh, julia olefination reaction is uh, julia uh, kosensky uh, olefination here uh, the reaction conditions are modified in such a way that uh, the products formed they show e selectivity that is uh, the alkene formed they are e geometrical isomers which are formed and modification is and here we use uh, tetrazole sulfone derivatives as the alkylating agents instead of benzothiol uh, derivatives so when n phenyl tetrazole sulfones of this type they are reacted with aldehydes or ketones in presence of a strong base like this then uh, we will get a high selectivity for e alkenes uh, during this modification reaction that is julia kosinski olefination so julia kosinski uh, olefication will lead to the formation of e alkenes as the products uh, if uh, we react these with aldehydes or with ketones so for example when uh, 4 methoxy acetophenone is reacted with uh, n tetrabutyl tetraethyl methyl sulfone uh, in presence of sodium base trimethyl sulfonamide as a strong base this will be converted into these types of uh, e alkenes as the product then uh, this uh, julia olefination uh, finds application uh, in the synthesis of many types of drugs and natural products few examples are uh, the synthesis of terostilbene uh, terostilbene uh, is a naturally occurring uh, dimethyl ether analog of uh, Resveratrol. Uh, resveratrol is uh, when both uh, these are uh, hydroxyl groups, and if these hydroxyl groups uh, they are alkylated by methyl group. So if they are uh, dimethyl ethers, then we call this stilbene as terostilbene. And this uh, terostilbene has been uh, found to show anti-diabetic properties. So. Uh, this is a potential uh, drug molecule which can be used as a drug for anti diabetic purposes uh, this julia olefination reaction is uh, that when uh, benzothiazole sulfone derivative of this type is reacted with uh, this aldehyde uh, benzaldehyde derivative uh, this in presence of lithium base trimethyl sulfonamide as the base at minus 78 degrees centigrade using uh, tetrahydrofuran as the solvent this will lead to the synthesis of uh, terostilbene as the product and this julia olefination reaction is very uh, simple in comparison to other reactions which are used for the synthesis of this compound like wittig reaction wittig water reaction perkin reaction or transition metal catalyzed reactions so simplification of this julia olefination reactions uh, make it an important reaction for the synthesis of terostilbene similarly uh, the hydrolyzed product of uh, taro still been that is uh, resveratrol uh, this can also be synthesized through 
do you already finish the action using uh, uh, these types of 3,5 base trifluoromethylphenyl sulfone derivatives on the action with aldehydes or ketone in presence of these types of strong bases that is lithium or sodium base trimethylsilylamide uh, under these conditions will lead to the formation of resveratrol as the product. Uh, similarly, uh, uh, this uh, Julia olefination reaction uh, has also been used for the synthesis of leptomycin family of antibiotics. That is, uh, calistatin A uh, has been synthesized uh, through Julia olefination reaction. So, when N phenyl tetazole sulfone derivative of this type is reacted with uh, this type of aldehyde uh, in presence of sodium uh, base trimethylsilylamide as the base and uh, hexamethylphosphoramide uh, as uh, co catalyst in presence of DME as solvent at minus 78 degrees centigrade, it gives us E alkene moiety uh, that is minus cadistatin A as the product. Then uh, Julia Konisky olefination has recently been used uh, for the synthesis of different types of products. For example, uh, methylenation uh, reaction of aldehydes and ketones uh, has given a new Julia type uh, reagent has been used where uh, benzimidazole derivatives they have been used. Uh, benzamidazole uh, sulfones have been used for Julia olefination reaction for the synthesis of alkenes. Uh, similarly, stereoselective uh, synthesis of uh, Z alkenes, uh, tri substituted Z alkene has been achieved when ketones they are reacted uh, via Julia Klinsky olefination uh, of. Uh, and methyl uh, tetrazole uh, alkyl sulfone derivatives uh, in presence of lithium HMDS as base uh, at minus 78 degrees centigrade. Then asymmetric uh, uh, Julia Kulensky uh, cascade reaction has also uh, been reported recently. When uh, anphenyl tetrazole sulfones, they are reacted with uh, these types of uh, aromatic aldehydes in presence of asymmetric reagents, pyrrolidine derivatives as catalyst, then uh, such type of 3,4 uh, unsubstituted thiopromines are formed as the product which are optically active or anatio selective synthesis is achieved uh, using Julia uh, Kosinki olefination cascade reaction. Uh, similarly, uh, macula uh, lactone B, uh, this is the macula lactone B which is uh, a biologically active uh, compound. This has been uh, synthesized from the reaction of uh, N-phenyl tetrazole sulfone derivatives on reaction with anhydrides. So, uh, thalic anhydride when reacted with these types of sulfones, uh, tetrazole sulfones uh, in presence of uh, lithium based trimethylsilyl amide as the base. Uh, this is uh, used as a DVC set we have three thread in presence of uh, TH and then uh, hydrolysis in presence of uh, STK set lead to the formation of macula lactone B which is a biologically active uh, compound. Similarly, uh, these types of uh, cyclopropyl uh, aldehydes uh, they also undergo reaction with benzothiazole sulfones to give us uh, a mixture of E and Z alkenes uh, to the ratio of almost 1 is to 4. Uh, Z is, if Z is 1, uh, E is 
four times, almost four times, 78 to 22, uh, in the ratio of 78 to 22. Then another uh, application of uh, this reaction is uh, the synthesis of uh, gold metabolite uh, sicanin. Uh, this can also be achieved through uh, Julia Kosinkiri polyphenation. So here what we do is uh, the uh, lithiated phenyl sulfones, uh, these types of derivative uh, when they are reacted with n butyl lithium these uh, phenyl sulfone derivative when reacted with n butyl lithium then lithiated phenyl sulfones they are formed and these on reaction with aldehydes or ketones in the present case uh, in the present case when sicanin is to be synthesized then we will use this aldehyde derivative as the starting material. So uh, they will undergo Julia olefination reaction uh, in uh, these conditions to give us uh, sicanins as the product and 93% uh, of only E uh, alkene is uh, formed. So uh, the reaction is a uh, stereoselective reaction. Then uh, another uh, recent example of uh, Julia Kosinski reaction is that uh, most of the examples which you have seen earlier they are for intramolecular reaction and if uh, we are having both the systems uh, of the substrate present in the same molecule then uh, this Julia uh, Kosinki reaction can take place uh, in an intramolecular uh, type also. So intramolecular Julia olefination reaction can be achieved if you are if we are having a, a sulfone moiety as well as the carbonyl system within the same molecule. So uh, when N alkoxy amides of this type they are reacted under Julia olefination reaction conditions uh, that is using lithium bistrimethyl slyl amide uh, in presence of BF3 ethrate at uh, with THF at minus 78 degrees centigrade. Then in the first step uh, the carbonyl will be generated at this place and then that carbonyl will attack this uh, electrophilic carbon and with the elimination of OH from here, if we use uh, this type of base that is DBU di as a bicyclo 5401 decane 7E, having this structure, this as the base, uh, then that intermediate will be converted into this type of fused 1 2 oxygen products. But similarly, if instead of this, uh, we use these conditions, mesetyl chloride in presence of triethylamine DMM, then 71% of this type of 1,2 uh, oxygen uh, containing a vinyl sulfone, uh, benzothiazole derivative is formed. So depending upon the reaction conditions, we can synthesize different types of compounds through intramolecular Julia olefin. Reaction. So these are some of the references which have been used for this lecture. Thank you very much.